Hi guys, welcome back to Fairies Tutorials. We're looking at food, nutrition, and health. CSEC past paper questions for the year 2020. And we're looking at part one, which has 30 multiple choice questions from paper one. Now let's get started. Number one, steamed, stewed, and poached foods are most suitable for the elderly because in this age group, A, physical activity declines, B, basal metabolism is lower, C, digestive problems may be present, and D, the energy intake should be reduced. Now, what you may notice about all these options is that they're all true, right? All these things happen to the elderly. But guess what? We're looking for the most suitable, right? Now, when we think about these cooking methods, steamed, stewed, and poached, they're all they're all moist heat methods of cooking, right? They may use little or no oil, which is good uh, because physical activity that uh, declines and because basal metabolism is lower and also energy intake is reduced. But also what is very important is that some persons may experience digestive problems. Therefore, when we're cooking for the elderly, we have to take care in when we're selecting cooking methods because some may have chewing problems some may be wearing dentro dentures which is a part of what the digestion process so even the very chewing their bodies may also may be uh not function optimally as younger persons therefore enzymes production may be reduced which is very important in breaking down these food items so the correct response here is c digestive problems may be present okay let's move on to number two which of the following practices would most likely result in poor nutritional status of preschool children and as you can see it's a combination question so one diet deficient in iron two diet deficient in calories so when we speak of calories we're talking about what we get calories from those macronutrients so the protein the carbs and the fats right which are needed in the body in large amount so that is very important to prevent at this stage what is called protein energy malnutrition or protein calorie malnutrition right so we know that is very important as well and three says diet that include powdered milk no guys there's nothing wrong with powdered milk right because what we get from it it is fresh milk that has been uh preserved so it is rich in calcium it may be fortified with vitamin d as well as other vitamins and minerals so that is good for their nutrition therefore we're looking for a response that has one and two in it so let us go and the first one we're seeing there is what is a which has one and two so it's diet that is deficient in iron right mm -hmm. so iron is very important at this stage to for brain development to prevent the onset of anemia and also diet deficient in calories which may cause um, some form of malnutrition, which whether it may be marasmus or kwashiorkor. So our answer there is A. Very good. All right, let us move on to our next question. Which of the following persons require large amount of energy giving foods in their diet? So persons who require large amount of energy giving foods have to be those persons who are expending, those persons who are actively engaged and using up all those calories, those persons who are working, doing a lot of manual work, right? Now let us look at these responses. A, electricians, B, secretaries, C, teachers, and also D, masons. Now, 
let us look at these options when we look at secretaries and teachers we can eliminate those because these are mostly what sedentary workers good no electricians may uh not as active as what masons because masons they may mix mortar they may be carrying blocks cement all of those heavy lifting and walking and carrying weights right so therefore our correct response here would be awesome would be d which are masons very good number four which of the following are basic dietary guidelines for the Caribbean? One, maintain your ideal body weight. Two, use of sugar in moderation. And three, eliminate fat from the diet. Now, the basic dietary guidelines are those which are put in place to prevent deficiency diseases, to prevent lifestyle diseases, and just for persons to live a healthier lifestyle. So they are recommendations, or we may say guidelines. Now, what we have here is, you'll notice at number three, it says eliminate fat from the diet. Now, even though, remember that fat is a macronutrient, so even though too much, if we don't have it in the co correct proportion, it can be detrimental to our health, but we can't eliminate it altogether because guess what? Fat also plays an important role in our health and our well-being, right? Now, instead of eliminate, what could have been there is to reduce or use fat in moderation, good? Now, what we're going to look for now, guys, is a response that has one and two, which is maintain your ideal body weight and also use of sugar in moderation. And that looks like which option? Awesome. Option A. You got it correct. All right. Number five. A deficiency in which of the following minerals is in the diet of children may cause rickets. Now, when we speak of deficiency, we mean a lock off. Therefore, this question is saying a lock off, which one of the following mineral may cause this particular disease? Now, when we speak of rickets, we're speaking about a condition where the bones become brittle and therefore what? It bends under pressure the bones are not so strong so which mineral is needed to create for the formation of strong bones a iron b iodine c sodium d calcium now if you are thinking about calcium you are correct good job now let us move on to the next question which of the following diseases may be prevented by an adequate intake of food rich in vitamin A? A. Night blindness. B. Beriberi. C. Pellegra. And D. Scurvy. So what vitamin A does, it what? Help the eyes. It promotes eye health right now when there is a lack of vitamin a the eye seizes the retina seizes to make what is called a visual purple so that we can see in dim light or in the night therefore if this particular nutrient is lacking that is why your parents may say eat up the carrots because it's what it is good for your eyesight that is because it is rich in vitamin a therefore the answer here would be awesome night blindness good job number seven which of the following minerals is required in increased amounts in young girls and women during the menstrual cycle? What happened during menstrual cycle? Portion of blood is lost monthly, depending on the type of the cycle, guys. Uh, so a normal person, a, a person with a normal cycle will lose blood blood uh, monthly and what is very important is for them to consume foods that are rich in a particular mineral so that blood supply that has been depleted may be replenished 
Therefore, which one of these minerals uh, aids in building our red blood cells? A, zinc, B, iron, C, calcium, D, potassium. Now, the correct answer here is, if you said B, you are correct. Good job. All right, continuing with question eight. Which of the following is not a form of malnutrition? What is malnutrition? Remember, malnutrition refers to the incorrect amount of incorrect intake of the total amount of nutrients so some persons may be taking in too much so they are overnourished meaning that they're obese or some persons may be taking too little therefore what they develop certain deficiency diseases good so a obesity b diarrhea c marasmus d kwashiokar what's the correct answer if your response is B, you are correct. No, A is a form of malnutrition. Obesity is a form of malnutrition where persons are overnourished. Marasmus and Kwashiokar are two deficiency diseases that affect children who are lacking protein or calorie-rich nutrient in their diet, right? So those children who are lacking protein in their diet, they may develop kwashiokor or marasmus or a combination of both deficiency diseases, right? Number nine, which of the following groups of foods contains excellent sources of protein? A, cheese, peanuts, fish, soy beans. Looking very good there for A, because if you notice with A, all of these sources have what? All the essential amino acids, which means that they are protein of high biological value. That means the, the quality of protein here is at its optimum, with the exception of what? Peanuts. Good. So cheese is of high biological value fish and also soy bean from the plant source is of high biological value as well with the exception of peanut but we're looking good there now let us look a bit further to see if the protein quality increases so b beef milk yes and then we went there with the coconut and the string bean right which are not rich sources of protein for c beans milk double cream and cheese right and d beef eggs breadfruit and vegetarian cheese now the most ideal answer here guys would be what would be a right so a has cheese peanuts still uh rich in protein fish and soya bean which is of a uh, high biological value protein so the answer there is a moving along number 10 item 10 refers to the following diagram of a place setting let us read the question which pieces of pottery are correctly placed all right now let's take a look at this table setting and let us use the process of elimination so right here we notice that the the fork is on the right that should be on the left and the knife is on the left that should be on the right right so any option with v or i in it we can eliminate those right so here we have a v right there we also have an i here in a and also an i and V here in D. Good. So let us look at the options that are left. So we're left with C, which says number three, which is a dessert spoon there, and also four. Now, if I think that there is an error in this question, guys, but if I sh if we should choose a correct answer, we would go with what? We would go with C. Good. 
because we see even though normally you won't this knife looks like a butter knife it does right and it's normally placed on the bread and uh, on the side plate right now what we're saying here in the french table setting we have the cheese knife that is placed uh right here as well as the dessert spoon right now the most ideal the suitable response that we hear if this question is not an error the most suitable response that uh it's safe to go with based on what is here is c right and as uh, as i'm on this question please note that a question may repeat but the options may be different so for example you may see this question and you go ahead and you say oh i remember that see what's this answer no guys it is very important for us to read carefully because in the exam from time to time you may find the options that which you're supposed to choose from they are shuffled so you're supposed to also take a note of the place setting observe the place setting look for key terms you may see correctly another exam question may say incorrectly so make sure that we look out for these things now as i said before even though i think this is an error the most suitable answer if we're supposed to choose one here for number 10 of the 2020 would be c based on the process of elimination all right number 11 which of the following should comprise the main course of a meal now a main course is consist of what can you remind me what a main course is consist of what are the dif different components awesome so if you're thinking protein carbohydrates and what raw vegetables then you are correct so that is non-starchy raw vegetables you are correct now let us look at which option has the this uh response so a protein carbohydrate dessert that's a no no right there remember we're looking at the main course so protein carbs and non-starchy vegetables we're looking for b protein dessert raw vegetables no no c protein carbohydrate raw non-starchy vegetables and it seems that we have a winner right here good now when we speak of raw non-starchy vegetables we're talking about those green leafy and yellow vegetables such as lettuce cabbage carrots it may be uh cucumbers right awesome now let us move on to number 12 orders consist of a variety of colorful well-seasoned food served as so we can pick it up with our hands small bites well-seasoned foods known as if your answer is what appetizers so we have a desserts b appetizers c main dishes d accompaniments if your answer is appetizers you are correct question 13 which of the following factors influence the planning of family meals one age yes very important two sex which refers to the gender whether male or female and three occupation good so we can say that all of these are very important when planning a family's meal. So for example, for occupation, a mason versus a teacher, a male versus a female. So a female may lose higher blood supply, may need to replenish their blood supply. Therefore, we'll select certain things on that menu. And also age. So if it's the elderly or if we're looking about toddlers, you know that the meal choices would uh would be different there so the correct answer here guys is we're looking for one two and three and that response is d awesome job all right moving on to question 14 which of the following are the best reasons for blanching vegetables before freezing one to maintain color two to keep microorganisms alive three 
to facilitate extended storage, right? Now, let us do the process of elimination to maintain color. Yes, we will definitely need that. Would we need to keep microorganisms alive? That's a definite no-no right there. And also to facilitate extended storage. So we're preserving. So we're looking for an option that has one and three. And that is, looks like to be what guys? Awesome. B is the correct response there. Number 15, warm temperatures, moisture, and improper storage of food may all contribute to A, an unhealthy diet, B, dehydration of food, C, food contamination, and D, accidents in the home. Warm temperature, moisture, ID, and improper storage, those create the conditions for what to reproduce. All right, so if you said microorganisms, you are correct. And therefore, the ideal answer here would be what? Awesome. C, which is food contamination. Very good. 15, additives are added to food to 1. Improve taste. 2. Leaven foods. So when we're talking le leaven foods, we're speaking about like, for instance, raising agents that are used in food. So the bicarbonate of soda, common name, which is baking soda. Yes, we, we use those in quick breads, right? And also to sweeten foods as well. So all of these options are correct. Because additives are added to improve taste, leaven foods, and also to sweeten foods. Therefore, we're looking for the option that has one, two, and three. And that looks to be awesome. If you said D, you are correct, guys. All right, next question. When cooking a cheese pastry, which of the following coagulates upon heating? Right? A. Casinogen. B. Legumin. C. Collagen. And D. Elastin. Which is the correct answer, guys? If your response is casinogen, you are correct. Right? So the milk that is used to make the cheese. So the casinogen is the coagulated form of the milk that is used to make cheese. And therefore, you can see the link there with the cheese pastry. Good. Legumin, you know, that is coming from the word, which food group? Legumes, right? Awesome. So the correct answer there is A, which is casinogen. Question 18, which of the following instructions for the care and use of of the blender is incorrect so we're looking for the option that is incorrect please take note of the key terms right so we read correctly so that we can select the correct answer all right let us look at the ink we're looking for the incorrect uh, care and use of the blender a rinse goblet after use yes very important B, run the motor for short periods. Yes, very good because we don't want the motor to what? Overheat, right? And to burn. C, immerse the motor unit in warm water to wash. Now, the motor, guys, is the base of the blender that has um all the electrical cords and all the wiring, wiring right? Now, is it safe for us to immerse that into water? No, it's not. So it seems as if we have a winner here. Let us read what D is. Wash the goblet with warm water and detergent, which is very much correct. So therefore, the correct answer here is C. So the incorrect use, the one that says that we're supposed to immerse the motor unit in warm water to wash. Good. Number 19, the trivet, safety valve, and gasket are parts of a A, gas cooker, B, refrigerator, 
C, electrical kettle, and D, pressure cooker. The correct answer is dun, 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 pressure cooker. Awesome job. All right, next, moving on to 20. Which of the following regional organizations is most likely to conduct nutrition education sessions in communities? A. UNESCO. B. CARFA. No, CARFA stands for Caribbean Public Health Agency. C. Bureau of Standards. And D. Food and Drugs Division. Now, in 2013, I believe CAFA was uh, formed. Good. And what they do is to dissolve five ex uh, existing food and nutrition uh, organization, right? Now, one of those organization is CFNI. And I know that you see it, see it in your syllabus and you remember it. Caribbean Food and Nutrition Institute. So now they now operate under CARFA. Now the correct answer here, guys, is what? CARFA, which is B. Now Bureau of Standards has to do with uh, quality, testing the quality or, and the standard of food to see if it's safe and fit for the market so persons can purchase. Good. Now, the correct answer here for 20 is B, which is CARFA. 21. Re item 21 refers to the following layout of a kitchen. The layout of the kitchen in the diagram may best be described as A, open, B, galley, C, parallel, and D, U-shaped. Now, based on the diagram that you're seeing there, which letter that you see uh, shaped out? Awesome. So the correct answer here is D, which is U-shaped. Good. Next question. Foods placed in a refrigerator should be covered in order to A, prevent the formation of ice crystals in foods. Now, would we have ice crystals forming in the refrigerator compartment of the, of the fridge? Let us see. B, facilitate the close packing of dishes and bowls. C, prevent the drying out of foods and transfer of strong odors. Seem like we have a winner here, right? And D, maintain the recommended storage temperatures. Now, the correct answer here, guys, is C, which is to prevent the drying out of food and transfer of strong odors. 23. Which of the following actions is the correct procedure for treating a minor burn? A. Applying butter. B. Applying alcohol. C. Bandaging firmly. And D, applying cold water. Now, which is the answer? Which first aid treatment is the most ideal or is the correct? If your response is D, applying cold water, you are correct. All right. Next question. Sweet potatoes are best stored in? A, the refrigerator, B, a cool, dark container, C, plastic bag at room temperature, and D, a moisture-free area at room temperature. Which is the correct answer? Dun, 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 dun. I know you're able to answer. So the correct answer here is B, a cool, dark container, right? No, we cannot store in the refrigerator because it will affect the quality of the potato, the taste, and also the starch, right? A plastic bag at room temperature, you know this is what creating moisture in that bag when it is closed. And at a moisture-free area, 
at room temperature so even though it is at room temperature it may be situated in a place where sunlight may be catching the potato right and we want to prevent the potato from getting sunlight because we don't want it to start sprouting so the correct answer here is b in a cool dark container all right next question the correct storage conditions for fresh eggs is a in a dry store in boxes at room temperature we can start eliminating right b in a dark dry store with adequate ventilation can eliminate there as well right because eggs are also considered as what potentially dangerous or hazardous food or we may say tcs foods right temperature so we have to control the temperature for safety good so c says in a refrigerator at less than four degrees celsius in packaging and d in a refrigerator 10 degrees celsius pointy end up now even though it is important for the pointy end to be up right because we don't want what the cell the sack to be erupted right so but the temperature here is a little off good therefore the correct response here is c so in a refrigerator at less than four degrees celsius in packaging good job 26 the freshness of fish may be indicated by so when we're shopping for the fish what can we look for? So when you speak of indication, which signs? What can we look? Can we smell? Can we look and see? All right, let us look at these responses. Soft flesh. Is that an indicator of a fresh fish? No, 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 guys. Pale white gills. That's not an indicator as well. Bright raised eyes. Yes, very good ammonia like smell no 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 right it's the fish should smell like the ocean good therefore the correct answer here is c bright raised eyes so when we're shopping for the fish we tend to look at their eyes to see if they're plumped or raised good and that's just one indicator all right let us look at 27 which of the following types of butter is used when frying poultry? So we want to coat the poultry when we're frying, right? So A, coating, B, binding, C, fritter, and D, thin. The correct answer here is, I know you know it, it is A, awesome, which is coating. 28th. Items 28 to 29 refers to the following ingredients used in the preparation of short cross pastry. Now remember, short cross pastry have what? Have fat to flour. Good. So there is cold water, there is margarine, shortening, and also flour. Now in answering items 28 to 29, each option may be used once, more than once, or not at all. Now, let us look at the question. Which of the above ingredients contributes both flavor and color to the pastry? Now, that would have to be which one you think would contribute color, guys? So, the margarine is what in color? Good. And the shortening is awesome white. So the margarine is yellow and the shortening is white. So which of the following contributes to both flavor and color? The response here would be B and that is for margarine. 29, which of the following ingredients binds the ingredients together in a dough? So after we have rubbed the fat into the flour, we have rubbed the margarine and the shortening into the flour, which ingredient would we need for it to combine and come together? What do we add to it? If your response is A, 
you are correct very good and that is the cold water and the reason why we use the cold water is that because we don't want the fat uh, to start melting which can create a flat uh, pastry or a hard pastry or a dense pastry good awesome Tur turthy the polysaccharide present in the cell walls of fruits that causes jams and jellies to set is called a cellulose b dextrin c gelatin and d pectin now the correct answer here is if your response is pectin you are correct good now pectin aids in the setting of jams and jellies therefore when we're selecting fruits to make these items we have to select the ones that are just right because these are rich in pectin and also sometimes commercial pectin may have to be added during the making of jams and jellies awesome you've made it to the end of the session if you found this video useful please remember to subscribe hit the like button and also turn on your post notification bells so you can be notified when there's another upload most of all share with persons who you know